give me your nose, let me stroke your nose. Yes, that's a good boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome. Shino and I were just, uh, you know, having a bit of downtime. Uh, oh, having one of those days. I'm, I'll just move the tripod here. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking for that elusive inspiration. And um, come on, Shino. Yeah, if I've got some some Hakami slip here, and uh, I've got quite a few different forms here, and I'm trying to get some more of this Hakami slip onto the I've got some wax here. So, there's, there's a couple of ways that, that one can, you know, there's so many, you know, you, you don't need, you don't need a million glazes or a million slips. You can work with a very few slips, but there's, there's so much versatility, what you can do, you can put on slip, you can scratch through the slip, you can put on different colored slips. You can do a decoration in wax and then slip over it, you know, and get the decoration coming through. I actually wanted to do some of those. I've got some um, different um, squared off bottle bottle forms, flattened shapes that I want to do. This is like a round shape with a slightly different. A different top, you see, very slightly. We've been listening to that motorbike over there for too long. We should shut up. <laughs> Break down. <laughs> Or maybe the microphone won't pick him up. Anyway, so are we in the picture? Let's just make sure. Yeah. It's kind of trying to rain, which is a pain, <laughs> just when I'm about to start filming. So I hope you've all been diligently practicing. Okie dokie. Yeah, so this is some ordinary emulsion type wax. I put it in a small dish like this, but I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there, you see. And then I'm going to add the wax to the water. Just a, a a small amount. It just helps it to flow a bit better, you know. It's 
I've got a different kind of brush. It's a, it's a kind of nylon type brush. I suppose it's the kind that they use for maybe oil painting or something like that. And um, let me just bring this camera a bit nearer so perhaps it's a little further away from the motorbike. So I, I haven't got anything against motorcyclists. I used to be a motorcyclist myself. But um, now I haven't really thought out <clears throat> what I want to do here, to be honest. <clears throat> So the wax here so this whole thing about inspiration and being inspired and um, especially when it comes to a point where we want to do some decorative decorative work um, can be you know, it can be quite challenging, can't it, to know what's, what we're going to do on a pot. And uh, where are we going to get our inspiration from? So, I'll tell you, one of the things that I do, and it... It sort of works for me sometimes, but not always. But, Sheena, come. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, here. Come here. Come on, here. Good boy. Come on, here. Down. Come on. That's what you do. Um, and that is, you know, you take a, take a pot like this, take a take a bowl like this one and um, when, you, when I look at this bowl I'm just giving you this as an example where when I look at this the shape of this pot I think I think uh, the word comes to mind tall tall shape so it makes me think of doing something that is tall <laughs> I told you you see it is very profound Chino. So I'm gonna to have to rescue my pigments because the cat is lying on. Them. Now come here. Come on. That's it. Go up there. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's see. Um So we're going to take some of this wax and uh, so yeah, tall, then look also at the shape you see, you've got a slight curve there. Okay, we had some runoff there, uh, don't worry about that with wax at this stage because we can wipe that off the the raw wear it's more more difficult if you do that on a bisque pot now it may be the net need to incline the pot more like that so it, you know we're not getting such a a runoff So 
I'm kind of working around the, the side of the pot you see like this. Try and keep it flowing and, and don't be hesitant about it. Hesitancy is the worst thing when you're, you're trying to decorate, you know. At least I think so. Want to be sprightly, alive, alive and kicking. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get a sponge. It's, it's best to get the wax off while it's before it dries, you know. So, I'm not going to worry about that too much for now. So, that guy, you probably can't see the wax very clearly. I'll just... Well, yeah, you can, can't you? You can see the, the wax there, you see. Yeah, well, maybe some more grasses or some trees or, you know. So, best to leave it to dry a bit, you see. Because actually what I want to do with that, you see, is take some of this, uh, take some of this slip, which needs a bit more water. Right, what next? Yeah, I'll show you my... Oh yeah, I'll show you, I just did a little tea bowl, which I was quite pleased with. Oh yeah, I'll show you the paddle. This is a... This is a tea bowl which I I smacked with the the burlap the burlap paddle. Um, took a piece of burlap and uh, sackcloth, you know, and uh, stapled it to this paddle, and um, and then uh, while it was uh, while it was wet on the wheel. I smacked it with the hand on the inside, of course, to support. So that that gives uh, that gives quite an interesting uh, effect. Let's just bring it up a little closer for you, and you get a better idea what we're talking about. Well, there's a paddle. That's pretty easy to do, isn't it? And then the 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 tea bowl with a rather nice um, 
pattern it leaves in, in the clay. Uh, I love uh, impressed clay, don't you? So, just remember when you use the, the paddle, you must wet it. Make sure it's thoroughly wet before you hit. Otherwise, it will just fill and clog with soft clay. That's, 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 the, that's the case always with paddling. You know, you've got to make sure that it's wet. Just thought I'd show you that. I just thought... I'd... And these guys, this is some little um, flask type pots. With, with different kind of feet, you see, they've got a, a, a cutout through, the, through there, which uh, it just, it's just a little feature, really. And, um, and then the pinched, the pinches. You saw me doing these, I think, the other day. Again, another one. So when the bottom, while it's still soft, you see, you push in the bottom with your thumb just by pushing it gently all the way around like this until you get an even sort of indentation. So that pushes it up on the inside, but it doesn't reduce the thickness of the base in actual fact. It's still the original thickness, it's just pushed up. And this design again just pinched simply I'm going to be doing some more of these and uh, I'll, I'll make a clip of that and show you uh, how I do it. It's pretty easy. I mean, this, was, this actually started off as a round, a round cylinder, which I just, and then just pinched it on either side. Um, so that's that. Anyway, with these also, I want to take some white slip and do some decorative work here. And I love this. I love the sound of these, don't you? <laughs> Let's get musical. Let's do one of these. I'll show you then uh, some of this white slip in action. I did do some the other day with you, but we'll do some more. And then I'll do that one with the wax. So this one is, this one is without the wax. And um, so I'm going to... I had a kind of idea for this a sort of uh, spiraling around and around and around like this, you see, a sort of like a loose spiral of white slip. So let's see if I can do it. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Let's just check that we are pointing where we ought to be. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We're out of focus. There we go. So, let's see if we can do that. Well, I'm sure we're going to do it. It's just whether we're going to do it. <laughs> whether we're going to do a good job of it or not is another matter. So... Now, if you're going to do something and apply the brush with this on the wheel, you've got to be careful that you don't knock it off as you do it. It's very easy to do that. So, what I would recommend is get it centered up as best you can because you're, you're going to maybe, there's different ways of doing this, so I would try to do it, one would be to actually spin it from the top by holding the top like this. What I wouldn't be doing is this and then just applying the brush. 
I think I'm going to be more inclined to do this like this. A little, a little bit depends on the kind of application you want, you know. So, I did, I did talk to you the other day about this brush, but it, I cut it with the scissors here on the end, so it's got like inter, intermittent bristles, you see. Okay, enough talk, let's do it. Yes, okay. One thing you will find is the slip, when you touch it on the pot, depending on the pot and how humid it is, the, the slip will immediately dry and it won't, it won't draw, you know, it won't pull through the surface of the pot. And I'm finding that a little bit with this one, that it's, it's a little bit intermittent. And maybe I need to add a little bit more water to the, the brew, you know, and give it a stir. Another thing one can do is, is take some water and just give it a light spray like that just before you do it. All right. Let's let's continue now. Trying to do this. Intermittent isn't necessarily bad, you see. Yeah, you see, I, you're getting some things I quite like going on here. It's that sky and the clouds again, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> at this stage, at this stage, doing this kind of thing, it can look kind of messy because it's like you're, you're just painting a backdrop. This is really a backdrop to what's going on on the pot. So this isn't the decoration in itself, it's just part of the, the backdrop. So You see, a character cloud. <laughs> you see, and I quite like that in a way. It's funny, you see, you do one thing, you get a certain something going on, and then you suddenly, you see something, don't you? You get an inspiration, you think, oh yeah. Well, hang on, wait a minute, I'll repeat that. And you get this re repeat going on, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>
as you can see, I am muddling along. <laughs> um, but the thing is, you need to get out there and do it. And don't wait for inspiration. <laughs> Make it happen, and it will. I'm just going to do this bowl, because I said we were going to do it, didn't I? So. So you get a mixture there of a feeling of, of, of whatever you wanted, however there you see them, but it could be trees, mist through trees. You see, I just heard a crow then. Did you hear that? Did you hear that crow? Well, maybe we need a crow here or two. Hey, be inspired and keep practicing. And we do have a workshop coming up this weekend. That's June 22nd and 23rd. Mark it on your calendar. If you're free, join us here, Central Pennsylvania, at my studio. The details are on the website, so just go there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.